104.7 The Cave, Mike, the intern, Jay Stevens in the studio for episode number 81, Dark Side of the Stream on 104.7 The Cave. Today, we are discussing my pick. The documentary is called Downfall. It's on Netflix, and it tells the story of the downfall of Boeing and really the 737. Now, you probably didn't know this, or maybe you did, but we're going to let the cat out of the bag. No, just for, we're just peek for, behind the curtain. It, wait, wait, man, we got to, because this is really crazy stuff. So last week we did, uh, what was it? The local Springfield music scene documentary, J Pick, which was cool. My pick was yeah, this one after this. Watch the documentary Sunday night. It's typically when I do it. I'll watch it on Sunday, so it's fresh in my mind when we come in Monday to talk about it. And we record this. Uh, in advance and it was this morning I came into the studio after watching a documentary about how all these Boeing 737s crashed because of faulty software faulty code if you will and Boeing's, Boeing's inability, inability or, or cover, cover up, up of the situation, situation. we'll get into that in a minute but, but another, another plane, plane crashed, crashed a Boeing 737 on the morning of us recording this from in China, China. The problem's not fixed. I'm sitting there in the bathroom doing my morning scroll, and I look and see that, and I go, oh, my God, are you kidding me? In the morning, we're supposed to record this thing? I look, the first comment says, and it looks like it was a nosedive, which was literally what happened with all these plane crashes. Let me ask you, Jay Stevens, you want to get on a Boeing 737 anytime soon? I don't want to. I just, and I just, when, I, when I flew to Hawaii a few weeks ago, I was like, what kind of plane was it? It was it? Was it? It was a different, it was, it was the, the other, other one. one. There's, it's it's the other there's like three types of planes yeah. that, that are the main ones, and this is one of them. That, that just, just, I mean, I, I obviously, obviously, you know, they say, corners, they, man, they say that we don't believe corners. in coincidences, but man, I got goosebumps when I walked. Jake came in the studio, I was like, bro, can you believe he's like, what? And I told him, and I was like, oh my God, I can't believe another one happened after they brought him back up, which is crazy because. The story is is it's a few years in the making. It gets really technical. Um, it it kind of gets the it gets really bogged down with like the timeline of how all this started and the system and the uh, the cover up and the grounding and the the billions and billions of dollars in fines, which unfortunately the family will never see. But to come in to record this thing on the same day that another one crashed. Not good, man. It's not, not good, good at all. Um, I'm, uh, I try not to, you know, sometimes when they post videos online of like bad things happening, you know, it's hard not to look at it, but they had video of this thing. going down? Straight down. Two and a half minutes of a descent. What would you do in that last two and a half minutes of your life? We'll find out next. Dark Side of the Stream on 104.7. One hundred four point seven, the K. Mike, the intern, Jay Stevens in the studio. It is Dark Side of the Stream, episode eighty-one, discussing downfall, um, which tells the story of the Boeing seven thirty-seven, the cover-up, the fines, the loss of life, and on the day that we're recording this thing, there was more loss, oh, loss of life. life. Uh, rest, rest in peace. peace. It was like one hundred and thirty, one hundred and forty passengers. Yeah, passing hold on, thirty people. Too. Yeah, um, it's just it's, it's crazy, crazy that after all this time and this really, really timeline, timeline started, started like six years, years when they well, the documentary was. Thing. You know, it, it seemed like Boeing was a great place to work for a while. Dude, yeah. Yeah. Bro, awesome bro, 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 right? no, no BS. I worked with a guy in college who I partied with hard, 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 hard times. Um, Craig, Craig the leg is what I called him. Craig the leg. Craig the leg. Yeah, they have one wooden leg. Crazy, or just awesome one real leg. Super cool guy. Um, his dad was F actually a FBI agent and did gang task force stuff in St. Louis when he was a kid, and this was like '90s, you know. And he and said, he you remember waking up, his dad would just throw him on the ground and they would just lay on top of each other because they were so scared of getting drive by because they he was an informant, essentially. Wow. Crazy story. Anyway, I worked with this dude in uh, college and um, years later, after we you know, grew up and got real jobs, he went on to uh, be a contractor for Boeing. And it is serious. I, the only other time that I've actually been like interrogated or interviewed because of someone getting a job was when my stepfather went to get like super high, high security clearance. And it was the same type of thing. 
And this, this is for contract work. This isn't for the government. This is for contract work. So yes, to go back to what you were saying, they are very legitimate. But again, we're, we're, well, we're, I mean, well, that's the thing. You always hear these stories about people that get away with stuff, you know? And they, they never really talk about like, oh, I shouldn't have done this or I shouldn't have done that until they get caught. And then they're like, ah, I guarantee you. And like it, Pfizer? It, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, the pharmaceutical companies, uh, you know, plane companies, whatever it is that involves a lot of people and a lot of money, there are companies and corporations that cut corners that do get away with things that could have horrendous, horrendous results, but luckily nothing happens and it's cool. Sometimes it gets caught early and you're like, hey, hey the recalls, this stuff happens all the time. It just happened to be with Boeing 737 that this was, you know, when you have a massive crash like this, which it started out with three big crashes, uh, Indonesia, Ethiopia, and then um, I guess they they started looking into the uh, manufacturer with, within the U.S. and that's where they had the investigations. Lion Air Flight 610, Ethiopian's airplanes fly 302 were the two big ones. And like I said, this was like, oh, crap, we screwed up. But that stuff happens all the time. Now, let's go back to what we said before we went into this break with the crash that happened today. They said this in two and a half minutes. Which, what the hell is Casey even going to do in that last two minutes of life? That's it, man. I guess just prepare for impact, man. Right? You do have it. 30 seconds. My prayer's going to do you any good at that point. You know, it's like, here we go. Here I mean, go, man. Prayer, I don't know. I don't know. I just hope I'm with my wife. I send out a text message or something, you know? Two and a half minute uh, TikTok before your eyes are going down. Can you imagine? <laughs> I know it's morbid, but you know, you, you speak and we're speaking in hypothetical. I was on the once that I felt it could have gone down. It was stupid. It was a crazy bad turbulence. Pretty yeah, wicked one. Yeah, those. one of my kids was pretty little. I just grabbed her on my lap and just held her as tight as I could. And it was, I, I was pretty sure the thing was going to go down. It was crazy. And it's really, really, really crazy when you get caught in those turbulent situations that last for a long time. You, you, I mean, I mean, you look at the attendance and stuff, and they're, they're trained, so they're, there's, there's no worry across their face. But, like, it is scary when you're flying in a metal, metal cylinder, you know, thousands of miles well, yeah, away, if you think in, about in, it, in would... an hour, up super high, and all of a sudden you're just, like, riding an eagle like this. Yeah, well, and, like like this. and it's and kind of like amazing. And you're like, oh, my God. I, uh, it's really it's kind of amazing that things don't crash more often, you know? Well, it's just these mechanical parts. You want to go back the whole thing? It's safer to drive. It's safer to fly in a plane, and then there's a car. It's, it's, it's crazy. basically speaking, but that's crazy. But, but that's, that's a hard thing to say because how many? It's not like everyone in the world is flying planes all at the same time. But everyone is driving cars, so statistically speaking, that is going to happen. It, that's just a fact because more people drive cars than fly planes. Granted, there are a lot of safety features, but what happens when? Literally, this comes down to Kobe. Well, like, okay, check it out. This, this new truck that you bought. What year is this new truck? 93. And it's got how many miles? 100,000. Okay. This is 93. Some of these planes are they older than 93. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude. And, and, then, then, and then, so then, you wouldn't trust then, taking your truck to St. Louis, but yet we're jumping in these things and going like 8,000 miles? Come on, man. Yes. Give me something to think about. Start to have a stream, discuss the downfall. We'll get to more next time on 104.7 The K. One hundred four point seven. The cave is Springfield's pure classic rock. Mike, the intern, Jay Stevens, back in the studio discussing downfall on Netflix. It's crazy the timing on this because obviously there was another crash in China this seven thirty seven, um, and you know it's the same. I mean, there, I'm sure it's not official yet. Maybe it is, but as of this morning, um, it looked like it was a nosedive, which was essentially what this this computer thing inside of the plane was causing. It would trigger a, a warning without the pilot really knowing and then boom, they didn't do training on what to do if this happened and again it comes back to like human error it's a coding error but that happens all the time it happens in computer software hell look when a video game gets released and guys head like that stuff happens all the time but when you're dealing with like automated travel 
and stuff, stuff like, like that. that. It's time for Elon Musk to develop teleportation. Well, well see, the, the thing is that that goes back to the that's a great person to bring up because the cars, cars like, like self driving cars, they're talking about possibly the one day we're having self driving semis, you know, driving transport and stuff across the country. Uh, it wouldn't be crazy to think that one day we'd have self flying planes, you know? Oh, I think for a lot of it, they, they use self fly, right? Well, they, they, but, but you have the human element in there. You're just saying, hey, case goes wrong. the code in this uh, case goes wrong. wrong. The problem wrong. is, a lot of the pilots early on didn't have any idea that this was going on. Like, they didn't really know how to fix the problem, how to fix the problem yeah. what was happening. Yeah. Um, and so, inevitably, Boeing gets, I mean, they've got fine, it, it was billions and billions of dollars. 60, I think, billion. Losses, twenty billion in fines. Wait, one thousand two hundred canceled orders because of all this stuff. So it's it's a it, they lost a lot of money, but how do you put a price on them? And it looks like the problem not fixed. Obviously not. But going back to what you said in the last break, dude, I bought a ninety-three Ford Ranger. Right, it's in great condition. Great condition. I love that truck. It's awesome. No, not a whole lot of computer stuff in it, man. I can work on that thing for the rest of my life if I want to. But you're right. There are planes still flying over our heads that are the same age as that Ford Ranger. You interest and they flew that thing a lot more than that truck has been driven. I'll tell you that much. Sometimes it gets a little shaky. You gotta jump on the other planes, man. Well, and you, you like take those like I'm not gonna name any names here because I don't want to get in trouble. But like the discount airliners, you know, the airline when you get on those planes and you like look at the seats and look at how it's just all put together. Sketchy. But not I'm only up in the air for two hours, you know what I mean? But uh, the, the, the thing that breaks my heart is, especially, especially in this part of the country, country that, that we had, we have, we never got an Amtrak system, system down here to connect us to St. Louis, yeah. Chicago, yeah. 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 From what I always understood was that this was like a hub for commercial, and they were afraid that they put passenger through here that would come up. Um, the, the commercial, commercial end of it, I've, I've heard, heard that. that. I'm, I'm not, not really sure. sure. Also, car manufacturers made a big push for the internet interstate system in this country. They didn't have them fully they did in other countries. That's why when you go to Japan, you go to Europe, literally you buy a pass, you can go anywhere. Yeah, train, train's like anywhere you're you're literally, you're literally, literally within like blocks of where you're supposed to be via train. Cover the United States, if you don't have a car, you're screwed. That it really is in part to the car, car manufacturers for doing that. But it sucks because once you, if you, if you've been in this area for a long time, your whole life, whatever, you've never really experienced what it's like to like get on a train and go. And yeah, granted, it sucks sometimes when you get held up and you get your train was supposed to be a three-hour trip, now it's five, now it's six, or it's six, now it's ten. It happens, but a little bit safer. You know what I mean? At, At least, least in my opinion. And I would, I would think a train would be safer than a plane, yeah. Yeah, I would think. And again, uh, my dream has always been if they get an Amtrak down here to Kansas City, how bad you know, it, it can be. be you know, oh, that would be really badass. I don't think I'd pass the drug test. that train, I am okay. <laughs> I'm not going to pass that drug test. Uh, but getting a train from here to Kansas City, we jump on the train, right. get drunk, get off in Kansas City, Why don't get they have Uber that? to the stadium, watch the Chiefs tailgate, get back on the train, come home. Yeah, why don't they have this? Oh man, that's, there we go. That's, mine. that's a money making opportunity. And we that's can't fly it, every it. Sunday, so uh, unfortunately, we're driving. But that's what we're talking about flying. We'll get to our reviews next. Dark side of the stream on 104.7. The One four point seven, the cave. Hey, Mikey, Mikey and Jay Stevens, Stevens back in the studio one more time for our looks and review of Downfall on Netflix. How many uh, airplane bags, puke bags? Would you puke, get? Any, airplane puke bags? <laughs> uh, two and a half. Too sciencey for you? Yeah, it was a little too slow, a little too sciencey. Because there's a lot to digest. No twist, no twist. No, it was just no, kind no, of just no, like no, a news no. story. It, it, honestly, it was like a glorified news story. Isn't it kind of messed up that you and I were, were I guess, the world at this point? You look at things like this, you know, and years and years ago, you could talk about this huge cover up and all that stuff. And now you look at a big corporation like that and you're like, so they oh, do. Are they not, how, aren't they all not doing this? They all, they all cut costs to maximize profits and skip. Uh, and skip again, skip most, of them, most of the time, thankfully for us, they get lucky and you know, it gets found <laughs> yeah. before it becomes a huge problem or they decide to eat the cost and they fix it. But sometimes they don't. 
And it's not just the airline industry. It's not just the pharmaceutical companies. It's damn near everything we do every single day. Corporate Go green, on. the biggest problems in America. I mean, you know, they used to use asbestos as fake snow and plays and movies and all that stuff. And now look at it. So, I mean, it just, it, it, you take it, you take it, and you know what? It's going to cause problems. And we just have to continue to get better and learn more as we go along. I would give it. Uh, probably about a solid three, three and a half. I, I, you know, normally I'm into the science stuff, but again, I, it, it does get kind of boggy with what you know. You gotta, have, you really have to follow along. You can't, you can't be playing video poker and watching this thing and at the same time. You're, you're almost as an, in an aviation class, if you will. So uh, next week is Chase. So what documentary are we gonna watch? Uh, Bad Vegan. Netflix. Bad Vegan. Just when you think uh, scammers. Can't get any worse than Tinder Swindler. <laughs> Tinder we got a whole we got another we got another level. I'm gonna Tinder. This one you think victims can't be any stupider. We found a more stupid one. Bad vegan. All right, sounds good. Bad vegan. Uh, very interesting story I watched over the weekend. I was amazed. All right, we'll check it out. Uh, you can uh, watch it in the meantime. Watch these live on Facebook or on YouTube now. Um, just search Star Side of the Screen. You can stream it. As a podcast on 104.7 K, the app will listen live every Thursday 9 a.m. I'm Mike the intern. This is Jay Steven saying, We watch nothing, so you don't have to. Start side of the stream on 104.7 The Cave.